Hi all, welcome to another video. This is an HP Elite Desk 800G1 Tower desktop PC. It was used in a, a lot of offices over the years and I've applied a few subtle upgrades. So first of all I'll just give you a brief tour of the case itself. It's just standard standard tower case. Uh, on the front we've got USB 2, USB 3 ports, microphone, microphone headphone socket and it's got a DVD rewriter drive. So moving around the back from top to bottom around the back we've got the power supply exhaust fan we've got more USB 2, USB 3 ports uh, that's the exhaust fan. It's the only cooling fan apart from the CPU fan on this system, but they are designed for working in offices for long hours, so I think that should be enough. That's the graphics card. And there's a few more expansion slots there. So what I'll do is I'll open up the case, and as with a lot of these machines, there's just one, one flap that you pull up and lift the panel away. We'll take a look inside and I'll talk through the upgrades. So, looking inside the case, good thing about these is um, there's plenty of room to work with, so no problems with cabling. So that's the power supply. Now on the tower, that's 320 watts, which is quite useful um, for adding extra power CPUs and graphics cards. Now what I did with that, because the fan was quite dusty, I took the power supply out and removed the fan, gave it a clean. And same same with the motherboard and the the, jet, the case itself, I just got a vacuum cleaner uh, as close as possible to every component, just gave it clean. The CPU is uh, i5 4570 which is Intel socket 1150 uh, upgradable to an i7 but I kept this I kept this as standard which because it came with the i5 and um, took the core off gave it a clean and repasted the CPU now one good thing about this motherboard is it's actually got four RAM slots so I could use uh, one 8 gig one 4 gig and two 2 gig sticks making 16 in total and the graphics card is an AMD RX 560 again I repasted that with new thermal paste um, I've added a 1 terabyte mechanical drive which slots in there and a 60 gig SSD for Windows and that's the boot drive um, the only problem I had was when I was installing Windows, the machine actually crashed when applying various updates. Now I've had this problem before, and the solution was is just to apply the latest BIOS, um, because I noticed on the HP website that there had been Windows 10 fixes applied at various levels of the BIOS, but I just thought I'd apply the latest one and everything installed just fine. Um, other than that, no, no real problems with getting this machine up and running. So what I'll do is I'll start it up in the next video and run a few graphical benchmarks and a few games just to see how this system performs. But if you've got any questions about this build, just drop me a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.